Hello, beautiful people. I guess you're wondering why I have a dog on my back. Why do I have a dog on my back? Because, look at him, look at him, look at him, and some more, look at him, a little bit more, one last time. So I have every reason to have this beautiful little creature on my back. So if you had a dog this good looking, would you not have him on your back? Without further ado, people, let me introduce you to Harold. He is honestly the best looking sausage around. And today I am going to show you how to ride on your bike with your dog. So stay tuned to the end to see this little fellow in a bag on my back on my bike. You want to go for a ride, Harold? You want to go for a ride? I think he wants to go for a ride. Before you go for your ride, you're going to need a few things. Number one, your dog. Number two, you're going to need to train your dog because your dog has to be used to being in a bag in a small space. So you want to make sure that from a young age, you train your dog. Number three, you need to change your mindset because the way you ride has to change depending on how your dog is. Maybe you need to let your dog have a little run around so he can, you know. But seriously guys, do think about your riding. Make sure your dog is happy and obviously let them out of the bag as and when they need to. Number four is the bag. The bag. The bag. Now you're gonna need a backpack. This is the K9 Sports Back and we're gonna be using this today to take little Harold out for a ride. Okay, so Harold's just plonked himself down and made his bed. So now is a good time to talk about the K9 Rucksack. Let's take a look. This is the K9 Sport Sack. I'm just gonna show you guys around the bag and kind of how it works. So it unzips from top to bottom, making it easy for your dog to get inside. You can fit a little blanket in there as well or something else with your dog. Bear that in mind when you're choosing your size. So obviously, dog gets in, then this zips back up, and then you have two clips. So you've got this clip at the bottom, clip them in, and them clips are obviously fully adjustable. So you can put it nice and tight or leave them some space. You've also got at the top, let's look here. So if we spin it round. Hello. So obviously it comes up here, comes up nice and high. And then you've got two holes here. Now these holes are for your dog's legs. So your dog's legs come out and then sit on your back. Now it does have a super solid base as well which gives a very good platform for your dog to sit on. That's the canine sport back. As you can see on Amazon, there are plenty of different options available. It comes in a variety of different colors and different sizes. It comes in one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine different sizes. So one to fit your dog. I am not sure exactly what size will fit each dog. To do that, do read all the description, product info on Amazon and have a look at the reviews because people are very helpful in there. They say about the weight of their dog and which bag they chose depending on the weight and size. So check those out. So they were the four things that you need. Now let's take a look at how you actually take your dog out on the bike. Okay, people, we're ready to go. We've got the bag, we've got a little Harold. First thing you want to do is actually get yourself ready because you don't want to put Harold in the bag while you get ready. That's extra time for him to be in the bag. What you want to do is put all your gear on, and when you're ready to go, then you can put Harold in the bag and then go. Make sense? Right, jump cut. I'm pretty much ready to go. Let's have a look at how we get little Harold into the bag. Come on, Harold. Come on, mate. You ready? Harold. Come on, little man. Come on. So, and then you want to get his little legs in the little holes. Roughly, anyway. Both sides. There we go. Then zip them up. When doing the zip, do not catch any hair in the zip. On this occasion, it's a little bit cold outside. You can actually tuck this around him. It depends on the weather, like I said. As you can see, he's pretty happy to, to get in the bag. I think he kind of knows what's coming. You can tuck this around him. 
because these are little sausages, the body's quite small, so this kind of packs out the, the sides, packs out the edges to keep it nice and secure. Um, and then see, down he goes. Look at him. Happy as Larry. So then, with that in there, you're going to protect his hair as well. So he's in, clip him in, clip him in, and there you have it. That is one little sausage all wrapped up and ready to go. As you can see, this is kind of how he sits, so when he's on your back, it's perfect. He kind of puts his feet on you like that, and then you're good to go. I've ridden with him before, 10 miles, and he was happy as Larry. The little rascal's ready to go. I'm gonna put my gear on. Today we're gonna to head to Victoria Park, go for an explore, let the little man run around, generally have a good time. I'll see you on the road. Come in, Harold, you ready? I think he's ready. Right, let's get him on. Come on. What are you saying, mate? You ready? That's my ear, just lick my ear. How's it going guys and girls? We're out on the bike. You can see little Harold, he's in the rucksack. He's doing good. We've got lovely weather again. It's super, super nice out here. It's actually like, it's quite warm as well, which is super nice considering it's been cold for a while here in London. But yeah, we're just gonna go and explore. He's good, I can feel him wriggling around. But yeah, he's, he's happy as Larry in the bag. We're just on the way to Victoria Park and then from Victoria Park we'll probably just do a loop, maybe go to the cafe there, get some food. Um, but yeah, all good. Alright, I'll see you in a mo. His hair blowing in the wind. Oh yeah, scratch it. She got legs. Scratch it. Come on, what you got? Oh yeah. Come on. Come on. For those of you thinking to ride with your dog, I would definitely recommend it's brilliant. I mean, you can take, you can cover a lot of distance. So we rode three miles here um, and then you let him run around here. So it's perfect, especially if you have a small dog, if you live in a busy city, it's an ideal scenario. It works, it works great. And I must admit, he's super comfortable in the bag. He's, he kind of just sits there and relaxes, which is what you need. So if you're gonna do it, do it from when they're a young age. Make sure they're trained, make sure they're comfortable in the bag and you'll be perfect. Look, Harold. Harold, how was your food? How was your food? Is it good? Oh, okay. My food was good too. He's absolutely munched his grub. So we're back home now, we're back in the warm, we've explored, we've been out. Harold's a little bit tired, but it was, it was a brilliant little outing. The bag is brilliant. It's super comfortable for him. I'm pretty sure he fell asleep at one point in there. His eyes were closed anyway. But he's, he's tired now after running around the park. Hopefully I inspired you guys to, to go out with your dogs, if you have a dog. Harold isn't actually my dog. We use an app called Borrow My Doggy and we're friendly with the owners and yeah, we look after him every now and again. What are you doing, Harold? Where are you going? Do consider taking your dog out. It's brilliant. You can travel a lot of distance, explore different parks and it works well. Hopefully I explained well, showed you how you can take your dog out, showed you what it's like to take your dog out and brought a bit of energy to your day. So thank you very much for joining me in this video and I'll hopefully see you in the next one.